Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been extremely busy building systems. When you don't get content on our channel, it's largely because uh, we've been busy building computers and we have been extremely busy building computers, uh, especially since all this new hardware came out. Today we want to talk about Intel versus AMD on X-Plane. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to throw up a graph which is an 11 game average. And this is courtesy of Hardware Unboxed. If you like to see lots of benchmarks of graphics cards and processors across a lot of different games, you know, I don't have time to do this, but they do. Um, they're a great channel. Again, they're called Hardware Unboxed. And so what you're seeing now is a chart of an 11 game average. It doesn't include X-Plane. These are games like Call of Duty and uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and all those types of things where they show um, the performance of the processors. And what you see basically is from the 8 core up, there's not a lot of variance. But technically, the AMD is winning a lot of those battles in just regular old gaming. Um, and that's because they have now higher instructions per clock cycle than uh, Intel does. And that was the big problem with Ryzen 3000. So let's move on to X-Plane. Ryzen 3000 was the previous generation, and their instructions per clock cycle were not as strong as um, Intel. And they also ran at lower clock speeds. So they had, you know, a good 15, 10, 15% performance penalty when it came to processors you would expect to run at the same level. When it came to X-Plane, the AMD would perform worse. And, you know, some of that is the way X-Plane is written. Some of that is the instructions per clock cycle. And some of that is the fact X-Plane's heavily single-threaded at this time. Hopefully that will change. Um, so anyway, we move now to Ryzen 5000, which you see here, the, all the processors listed here. We have the 5950 and 5900, which are, the, these are the number of cores, 16 and 12. We have the 8-core 5800X. We have the 6-core 5600X. And what I've done is I've lined them up with their Intel counterparts as far as X-Plane performance goes. And, you know, this is just some testing that I did. I mean, sure, in some scenarios, maybe this might outperform this a little bit or this might outperform this a little bit. But in general, this is how the performance stacks up. Now these up here, the 5900 and the 5950 are made of something known as unobtainium, meaning I can't get them and neither can you um, right now. And this is New Year's Eve 2020. Eventually I'll be able to get them. Um, but the 5800X is pretty readily available. It performs very, very well. In fact, it's almost as fast as the 10900K. I mean, it's it's falls right between these chips um so it's it's definitely a very safe buy we can get the 5800 and the 5600 pretty readily um so over here on the intel side you we we see higher clock speeds but as i mentioned the instructions per clock on the AMD has improved so that a 4.7 gigahertz AMD chip can perform like a 5 gigahertz Intel chip. So the bottom line for this particular video is it's okay to buy an AMD chip now. You're not, you're not having an, a performance penalty. And the other thing is your performance in X-Plane isn't going to vary greatly between these chips. Why? Because the real world speeds that we see. These are real world numbers between 4.6 and 4.8 top to bottom is not a big difference. Um, the difference in AMD's product line is the number of cores. AMD, excuse me, Intel, I oh, can't even talk. X-Plane is very single threaded and so it really just mostly cares about this column, the speed doesn't care so much about this column. Now you will have seen in that 11 game benchmark that the 5600X did perform worse than the 5800X. That's because some games can use as many as eight cores. Not many, but some. Um, I think some of the call, latest Call of Duty games can use actually up to eight cores. 
but most games do not uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Simulator at this time does not. Um, you'll see similar numbers with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, and again, it's pretty heavily single-threaded uh, as well. So if you're looking at, at running both sims, um, you're going to see similar a similar hierarchy to this. And also, you're going to find pricing between these to be pretty similar as well. Uh, pretty much every dollar you spend gets you more performance. And, you know, they've got the money thing figured out pretty good. Um, the 5600X, um, you know, coming in pretty close to... I think it actually falls between these two chips. Um, so, yeah. No more AMD penalty. You can feel safe if you want to use AMD. It's not going to uh, perform worse in X-Plane than a comparable Intel chip.